Right then, so, are you ready to fire the first pattern? Right, I'm going to take a look at that pattern first. So it is a horizontal line. Right then, give it a go. One clip. Yep, one clip. A little bit of breakage. Continuous for a second. Okay, so stop. So yeah, basically it's doing a very small amount of damage. Then like what? Five, six? In a straight line. Right, move on to the next one. There's nothing more we can learn from that. I reckon this one's going to be the same, but just, you know. I don't think it matters for this one. But yeah, carry on. And then continuous fire. For the same amount of time if you can, because you're the one that can time it best. Okay. So that's roughly the same as what we saw before. Okay. Tell me when you're ready in the next one. Okay. is a bit different to be fair. I think maybe our gel might be slightly skew if which could be causing that but we'll carry on anyway. Um, for this one I actually have to set the outputs in a funny way because otherwise it's going to fire strange. Hang on. So basically I need to put the output for that one, that one, that one and that one. Basically it's a bit like a reactor none of it's touching so let's just see what well, that one's like. Give it a go. Okay. And then continuous. Oh, damn. Um, has that gone through the other side? It has. Right, okay. Oh, no. No, not quite. It was close, but not quite. And then that's the first one to use the whole of the space. Yeah, that was basically, yeah, that was just a space efficient um, single line cannon, really. So, yeah, that's okay. Right. Yeah, some of them are identical. You're welcome to come on and build yours, Devin, because, you know, input is welcome for this. Okay, one click, yep. Yeah. Just make sure it's the same amount of time when you do your continuous fire, because otherwise it won't be a fair test. Right, so looking at that, we've got a similar penetration, but a lot more blocks removed for that pattern. A lot more blocks removed, a wider impact hole as well. So that was this one, let's have a look at that pattern quickly, so that's a horizontal waffle, firing forward. Okay, so now we've got the L-shaped cannon, give it a blast. Okay, and then continuous. <laughs> that's not doing anything. So there you go, that proves it's not volumetric, it's uh, done on volume, not like the reactors with the invisible thing. So, that's cool, Devin. Cheers for watching, though, when you can. So, yeah, look at that. But you're welcome to come and add to this later, and I'll revisit this, you know. Okay, so do you want to give that a continuous fire? Dude, it's... N it, it. Not as good. I was expecting that. Really? Yeah, because of the first one, it's had bits chopped off, so it's got more smaller ones, so it has more shots. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, interesting to see how these things perform against shields. So thanks to Bezer and thanks to Phantom for helping me out with this test. We've done a lot of different reactor patterns, uh, sorry, cannon patterns, and I'd love to see some more of these designs, so if you can come up with interesting patterns that will fit within this space, 
and that space is for everybody that's watching. Four by four by seven. Yeah, four by four by seven. So there you go. So there seven go. being the z-axis. Yeah, yeah. If, if it will fit in a four by four by seven, um, and you get, a, you know, we'd like to see interesting designs that we haven't covered today. So, like I say, get in touch, send us a screenshot, post it up on the G Plus. But the interesting, I'd say, the most interesting thing today has been this little guy because it's only seven blocks and it does the same damage as a full block so it's like that's something that is really something I'm just gonna follow the line it's the one in the middle of the screen right now and that's pretty impressive for just seven blocks so you know anyway there they are, a few of them made it straight through and those ones have been earmarked as the best designs so we're going to expand them up. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.